Hey there, it's Maddie Mark Shirk with the Beatty Westerland team at Premier Sotheby's International Realty. Before we get into it, I just wanna let you know that I am not trying to persuade you or dissuade you from moving to Southwest Florida, but these are seven things you should definitely consider before you buy. I think everybody should have this knowledge in mind before they purchase a home down here. I think it's important to be educated and know more about the Southwest Florida market and what to expect if you buy a house in this area. Without further ado, let's get into it. Number one, home insurance. In a general sense, especially if you're going to be financing, home insurance is necessary. Same with flood insurance. You probably have heard about a little thing called a hurricane and they happen every so often in this area. Since our most recent hurricane, Hurricane Ian, home insurance has been very hard to find. Um, and can be very expensive. Keep that in mind when you're buying a house that there's gonna be probably additional hassle and costs when buying a home. This applies to single family homes for the most part. Condo associations usually have the home insurance already built into the HOA fees you'll be paying. Although these prices may go up year after year, you can almost guarantee that the condo will continue to have the home and flood insurance necessary that you move into. Single family homes, however, are owned solely by you. A lot of the insurance companies have actually stopped opening new claims for people in Lee County specifically after the hurricane has hit because so many people filed a roof claim or damage to their house so they don't feel comfortable insuring people in Lee County as much as they did before. Number two, HOA prices. Ultimately, gated communities are very common down here. A lot of people are also seasonal, so their gated communities is, provides a lot of security and comfort, especially when people are here for only four or six months of the year. HOA prices do come along with that. A lot of times it can include cable, insurance, internet, landscaping, maintenance. Depending on which community you are in, these HOA prices can differ. These fees typically also go to guards at the gate, the patrolling of the community. I think it's well worth it, but it's just something you need to budget if you're gonna buy a home or condo or townhome in this area. Number three, the heat. Yes, Florida is hot. We knew that. We know it's humid. But there are some expenses that you do have to kind of budget for and expect if you do buy a place in this area. Humidity does damage, heat does damage. So if you leave a car out here for however long, your car battery will not last nearly as long. Super high UV and sun damage in this area. Air conditioning, especially if they're in a garage, they don't last nearly as long. So keeping that in mind when you're looking for a home, an air conditioning unit that is within the building will often not work as hard and will be better off. Air conditioning units can, can range up to maybe 10 to $12,000. That's an expense that you obviously have to budget for, but a little more frequently, potentially down here. So just keep that in mind. Dampness, mold, way more common in this area. Just simply from the pure humidity, if your AC goes out and you don't catch it in time, that can cause some serious issues. You don't have too many of those issues when you're up north, especially in the winter, but it's all year round, it's a problem down here. So someone that can check in on your home occasionally if you are not here is very important. Which leads me into the next point. Number four, home watch. Home watch is super common in this area. Typically, somebody will hire an individual to come in, check in on their home, make sure everything is running. And it's just something you might want to budget for, especially if you're not here full time. There are so many incredible home watch companies in the area, but it's just nice to have that extra security. Number five, busy season traffic. You may have visited down here and you may have noticed that the traffic from the months of January through April are pretty insane. I mean, even this is starting sooner and ending later as well. People are able to work full time and oftentimes are here a lot longer. They don't need to do that one month at a time or two months at a time or get away for four months. Some people are staying full time and it is busy. It is getting increasingly busy. There's more construction. There's more people moving to the area. We still, we can't blame them because it's such an incredible place to live, but it is kind of an issue. So if you're trying to go to the beach in the mornings, you gotta get there early. Golf courses are packed. They're also expensive. Just all things that you should know uh, in a general sense in this area, January through April specifically, but also all year round now. I gotta say summers are pretty calm and mild and quiet as well. Um, nobody likes sweating their butt off that much down here. What you can find during these months is you'll probably sweat just walking to your car. It's a nightmare, but we know that the other six months of the year in the winter time are perfect. Number six, I want you to know it's a good investment to buy a house or real estate 
in Southwest Florida. Just from what we've noticed, a lot of people love living here. A lot of people like to come seasonally. You can also get pretty good rates if you're gonna rent out a home down here. So if you have that extra cash, I don't think it's a bad idea to rent out, buy a place down here and rent it out. To save yourself, you might wanna buy a little more inland, but you can still be maybe 10, 15 minutes from the beach and still have a good investment property that you don't need to worry about getting uh, hurricane, flood, storm damage nearly as much as if you're buying an investment property right on the beach. Number seven, are we ready for big number seven? Uh, Florida is a homestead state. So if you have a primary residence here, you can have tax benefits. Primary residents can claim up to $50,000 of a homestead tax exemption that you don't need to pay taxes on that percentage of your home purchase. Again, this only applies to primary residents, so if you're coming here for an investment, um, that is one thing, but if you were to consider moving full-time, there is homestead benefit that is worth your while, worth looking into, and could save you a little bit money in taxes, so that's phenomenal. Lastly, I just want to wrap up and then say it's, it is really important if you are buying down here to have a high quality, honest, reliable real estate agent that's helping you out, um, that's not going to lead you astray or can get you to buy a house that is not your cup of tea and rushing you into any sort of decisions. It's important you get all of the information you can and make sure you're making the best decision for you. Don't get me wrong, Florida is an absolutely gorgeous place to live. Again, I'm Maddie Mark Shirk with the Beatty Westerland team at Premier Sotheby's International Realty. Shoot me an email if you have any questions or if you're considering moving to the area. would love to hear what you're looking for. Uh, happy to help in any way I can. Best of luck in your home search and see you in the next one. Thanks, bye.